Yo, what's good, Tristan? Andrew's fam! Today, we're gonna react to Miley Cyrus Super Bowl pre show prep. I love that she uploaded this. This is so freaking cool. I didn't even know she was singing at the Super Bowl. But before we get started, be sure to check me out Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Ooh, you like that one? By the way, Instagram and TikTok, I'm gonna be going live on there, here and there, probably mostly Instagram, doing live singing lessons with you guys. Ain't no one else doing that but me. Anyway, it's gonna be really fun. Be sure you check me out over there. You could very easily get into a lesson with me for free, girl. Anyway, let's just jump into this. I'm super excited. Let's go. I love that she uploaded this. It's like the coolest thing of the whole week. I guess they're recording this on a VHS camcorder or something. She doesn't match have a tripod. Match the pace with the rhythm of the band. Let go and she's the queen of the Oh, I she love that she's doing this, this song. Holy shit. Yeah. I love this song. So high. I think I want to be a best friend. Yeah. Let go. Let go. Dude, I love this band. Queen of my sorry. 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 This song is so perfect for her. She must be doing a lot during the Super Bowl performance. Who's she working with? I hope that she's working with someone that actually knows how to do distortion in a healthy way. Her distortion does sound healthy though, but that is something that I hope for. And obviously what she's doing here is she's practicing singing and doing whatever you know, she's probably gonna be dancing or running around doing something. So she's practicing keeping her voice and her breath stable while she sings and also works out. That's not easy to do with the amount of grit that she has on her voice. It does make me a little bit worried though. Really hope that she isn't hurting herself when she does this. I don't think that she is. I think she's a smart girl, but it is something that I would be concerned about if this was like a client coming in to see me, for example, and they were singing this way. That was one of the first things I would ask them is like, does that feel okay? As long as it feels okay, there's no problem. If you guys are curious, when it comes to distortion, I'm not the best with it, right? Self-admittedly. I don't like to teach it to people. But the way that I'd like to kind of get that sound on my voice, first of all, you want to sing something clean. Say you got a clean note, it sounds more or less fine. It's on the pitch that you want it to be on. Then you just add a whole bunch of extra, like almost like uh, for me, what works is like I'm going to the bathroom, <laughs> right? Hey, hey, right? And you sort of just add this on top of it. It's the kind of sound that you would make like, Say you're like walking around and you, oh my God, stub your toe. If you've ever done that, it doesn't hurt your voice, right? Because you're doing it in a way that's sort of like instinctive or normal or natural. It hurts your voice if you try and do it and you try and do it in a way that it doesn't remind you of that feeling. Anyway, I don't recommend that anyone tries that at home. You could hurt yourself very easily if it tickles, if it feels uncomfortable, if it scratches, don't do it. I'm good at doing it in like little bursts. Like if I need to like, I know you're somewhere out there, somewhere far away or whatever, adding it until like, in, little notes but what she's doing is insane especially with running because you have to hold all of that energy while you're running and then keep it going the whole way through that's not easy at all if a normal person were to try and do that and just yell and screech their way through the song it would sound horrible that's why it sounds good for her though because she's actually working on her technique and hopefully she's working with a teacher that does know how to use a distortion i would imagine that she's smart enough to do that and by the way you guys as well if you're ever working on any sort of extreme sound like this this is a really extreme sound or you're working on high notes or anything like that and anything ever feels uncomfortable and you're working with a vocal coach you got to communicate that if anything in miley's voice is feeling uncomfortable or bad or strained or tense this would be the time for her to communicate it and hopefully her vocal coach is receptive to that some of you guys might know this some of you guys might not but miley already has vocal damage. She's already damaged her voice in the past. I wouldn't want to see her add on to that. But anyway, I'm just saying that for you guys at home. I'm not saying that for her. Just for you guys is just a, a fair warning. Just be careful. Be careful. You know, be safe. But anyway. It sounds really good. Oh. Oh. The reason why she's so exhausted, by the way, she only ran on the treadmill for maybe a minute and maybe she was doing some stuff before that. But it's like what I was describing. There's all this extra energy and all this extra uh, that's going into her voice that she has to hold the whole way through while she's moving, while she's trying to take in breaths and not 
appear out of breath as she does it. It's insane. And also she's not locking up either, which is very easy to do with this type of singing or just singing in general, especially if you're exercising. It's very easy. I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna destroy my voice. But for example, if you can imagine running, 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 and then you just lock everything up and then you, and it there it's just all tension and you just unleash it. No, that's so easy to do, but she's staying relaxed. She's relaxed. She's letting the air move. In through your nose, out through your mouth. The reason why in through your nose, out through your mouth is because your nose acts as a filter, right? So it doesn't dry out your voice as much as if you're doing it through your mouth. Imagine that you're heaving. You're going to dry out your voice real fast. But if you're doing it, there's like this layer of mucus and shit, right? I don't know. Anyway, whatever it is, your mouth dries out your voice very easily. Girl, I get out of breath just going up the stairs in my house. I'm gonna give you another minute. I'm gonna sit on it. Sit up. Okay, remember, intimacy, back off. You just lock, gotta lock that first pitch. Not volume. Intimacy. Don't lean on the wall. Ready to go. Intimacy, okay. not volume. Dude, I wanna know what she's about to do now. This is so badass. It's unedited and everything. I love, oh my God, this is like a vocal coach's dream to be able to watch something like this. Or a singer, actually. Any singer who's like genuinely curious about what Miley does. This is so cool. I wish more singers did this. What are they using, a VHS camcorder? Like, what is, what is this? What is this? I'm gonna try and translate what I think she's doing with these hand motions, by the way, because this is the kind of stuff that I work with people on a lot, personally. They could mean different things. It could mean something different to her. I might be wrong, but I'll just explain what I think is happening. And this isn't unique to Miley, but I do wanna bring up her unique condition, right? So like I said, she's been very open and vocal about how she's hurt her voice in the past. And so you'll notice like her voice now is a lot airier than it probably was previously. So probably something that she struggles with a lot as she goes up in pitch, her voice stays airy. That's what I'm assuming. And so one way to eliminate airiness from higher pitches is to add support energy. Think of it this way. If you sing too loud with too much air, it's not good for your voice. I think she's trying to avoid that. And I think her vocal coach is actually pretty good and also trying to avoid that. So when she's singing some of these phrases, ah, you down to that's what this is. This is like a reminder to give it extra energy, like a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a readiness. Uh, right? Or whatever she said, whatever, I don't know what she's saying, but same idea. So instead of, right? That idea. And also, I, she's probably not going to be this st like, I, I hesitate to say stiff, but she's gonna be more expressive when she's performing. She's just trying to go through it technically right, and so I think that's what this motion is to help her with. This little bit of a, each time that she's needs to add that extra energy. Okay, and so I'm gonna try and translate this hand motion, because singers do lots of weird stuff, right? You'll see them, or whatever. So this, to me, is like, okay, you get the note, there's no airiness on it, it has good support energy. Support is not, here's what something that people, I think people get wrong. It's not a locking. It's not a, okay, time to go for my diaphragm. And then you squeeze it and you hold it. It's a back and forth. You have to also let the air move. It has to also be mobile. You can't just lock your body. And so this is what I think this is. She's like in that spot, her voice is in a good spot. Now she's reminding her voice, na 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 na. Reminding the air to move so that she doesn't na 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 na. That's what I think.
Because I'm just, she's singing higher, but it doesn't sound like it's high. I would imagine that these are relatively high notes. Let me see. I think it's a C5. Am I correct? Is my perfect pitch cucking on? It's a B4, not a C5, just so you know. Really close, really close. It's not your fault, I give you what you need. Right? Whenever she wants to give it that extra oomph, she does that little movement. I think her vocal coach is actually pretty competent. And I don't often say that. I'll put you down slow, love you goodbye. Before you let go, just one more time. Take up your clothes, pretend it's fine. A little more. She sounds so good. Isn't that interesting? Her vocal coach is saying relax. It's interesting because here's the thing. Sometimes people think out of context of what a vocal coach says, or sometimes they get a really bad vocal coach who just says, relax, relax, you're not relaxed. Like as if that's the solution to the problem. There's clearly this instruction in some way or another to add this tension, right? Otherwise the vocal coach would say, stop doing this. This is clearly something that they, the coach wants her to be doing. So they want her to add this tension. So why is the coach also saying relax? It's because like I was saying, support is not tension by itself. Tension by itself is strain. Na 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 na. That's not good. Na 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 na. There's still this movement. And there's more specifics in how exactly you do that, which muscles relax, which muscles tense, where do you push here, where do you do that. That's all nerdy stuff that you can get into the details about. You can be like, well, I personally like to keep my rib cage extended and blah, blah, blah. whatever. It doesn't matter. So that's not even necessarily the important thing. The important thing is to know there needs to be this readiness. There needs to be this energy, but there also needs to be an element of like letting it go and letting it move. Those are the two most important things. Maybe one day we will go into more specifics about the exact muscles, but that's not this video. Dude, that was lit. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, her vowels are just so, I mean, I could go into more detail about more of the specific stuff. Maybe I will, I'm gonna let it play. I think I've talked about this in the past. If you want to check out the video, I think it was the, uh, her and her sister singing, I got so high that I saw Jesus. Miley loves these like, hey, vowels, right? And she does these everywhere. Other singers don't do this nearly as much. It makes a lot of sense with her voice because she does all this rock. She's not singing angels like you. Da, 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 e. She's not singing you, she's singing you, right? Because she wants that loud in your face style to her voice. But she doesn't sing everything from that spot. It would sound ridiculous. Angels like your bum hair, them bear with me. It would sound so silly. So she finds places where she wants to have the vowel jump out and places where she wants to keep the vowel more chill and at a more moderate volume, more speech-like. And I'm coming out, it's getting ready to rumble, my The energy of this, these people is so insane.
Anyway, this was really cool. This is everything I wanted it to be and more. We got to hear her unedited. We got to hear her completely live. We got to hear her without any special effects, without any special microphone, just singing into a camera the way that a normal person would, <laughs> which is great. Like if you're trying to learn how to sing and you're trying to learn what a singer is doing with their voice, these types of videos are just invaluable because you can see exactly what's going on. There's no tricks, there's no reverb, there's no autotune, there's no post-production. There's nothing going on. It's just the singer's voice and the camera. It's focused right on her and it's up close and personal. Perfect. But anyway, hopefully you liked my video. I had a lot of fun doing this one. Until next time, Tristans and Tris fam. Also be sure to check me out Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, like I said, Instagram, TikTok, I'm gonna be doing live stream singing lessons. So if you wanna learn any of the stuff we've talked about today, feel free to hit me up on there. Anyway, until next time, Tristan's and Tristan's fam, peace out.